My name is Stephen Van Patten. Earlier, the guys from Same Night Movie Review and I poked a little fun at our political process. However, I thought I'd take a moment to address the fact that this upcoming presidential election will not only be historic, it will redefine this country. It's important that we consider our choices carefully for the consequences of the wrong decision will be widespread and dire. That's why I decided I would reach across the lines that divide us and give those of you who haven't quite figured out who you should be voting for a little something to help simplify the matter. This is SVP's Election Guide 2008. What I'm going to do is give you two separate lists of criteria. When I'm done, you should have a much clearer idea of what to do. You should vote for the McCain-Palin ticket if you are wealthy, filthy rich, or somehow pulling in enough money to survive a massive global economic disaster, the owner of a recently bankrupted but bailed out investment banking firm, comfortable with the price of gas, planning not to get sick for the next four years, someone who doesn't know the difference between Iraq and Afghanistan, Someone who doesn't mind if moose, bears, and wolves are wiped off the face of the earth. Allergic to solar energy. A parent that won't mind if your rape teenage daughter is forced to have the rapist baby. Or have the money to send her out of the country for a vacation should something so terrible happen. Someone who doesn't need explanations regarding important global issues to make sense. The owner of an oil well. Okay, let's talk about the Democratic nominees. You should vote for the Obama-Biden ticket if you are making less than $250,000 a year annually, a fan of the Constitution, someone who believes in the separation of church and state, someone who knows the polar ice caps are melting and not because God is making snow cones, upset about the Wall Street bailout, but even more upset by the Republican-inspired deregulation that caused the need for the bailout in the first place, gay, or a straight person who has at least one gay friend who you don't want anything bad to happen to, a person of color, or a white person who has at least one friend who is a person of color that you don't want anything bad to happen to, have any health concerns, or know someone with health problems, a woman who plans to be sexually active without necessarily wanting to commit to the whole messy baby thing, someone who likes visiting other countries but feels awkward when subjected to angry stares. I sincerely hope that this helped clarify the situation for you and Whatever you decide on November 4th, I hope that you uh, vote within your best interests as well as the interests of this great nation. Thank you, good luck, and God bless. I am SVP, and I approve this message.